I am going to meet up with a sewing friend in a couple days and I am so excited. She shares her sewing content on Instagram and we've talked about meeting before and it looks like it's finally happening. So on the evening that we're meeting, I am going to be catching a flight. I will be going to Tennessee and what I'm doing right now is just pulling out some garments that I want to take on my trip and I'm trying to pull out garments that I really like that I've made but I don't wear very much. So today is the day I'm on my way to visit my friend and I actually brought her a gift. However, the bag is so big but the gift is pretty small. So. I am planning to stop at the store on my way to see her and just see if I can get a smaller bag for her gift. I think I'm just going to go to Michael's. So I got my friend as a gift this essential oil that I love and I shared it in one of my videos and she commented and said that she would take my word for it. So I decided I would get it for her as a gift and then that way she can try it for herself and hopefully she'll like it like I do any bags that are smaller than the one that I already have really they used to have a whole lot of little bags I ended up just buying a bag of shredded paper I'm just gonna fill the bag up with this and then I'll put the oil inside of there oh I didn't even need the scissors I got the scissors to open the bag I'll put a little paper on the bottom. Oh, this is probably going to be all over the place. It's pretty though. It's kind of like an iridescent kind of color. It's very pretty. So I'm going to put a little bit in the bottom and then I'm going to put the oil in there. And then put a little paper on top. Yeah, there we go. So that way she can wonder, well, what's in there? Because you can't see it. She's got to feel around for it. So that'll make it kind of fun. I was so disappointed at first because I couldn't find a smaller bag. But now I think this works just fine. I think that'll be cute. I just made another stop. This time I went to Joanne Fabrics and I picked up this knit fabric. It said it is faux cashmere. It's really nice, really thick, and I like it. I like it a lot. Not sure exactly what I want to make out of it, and I just got a little over a yard because it was kind of pricey. I think it was like $29.99 a yard, but I had some discount coupons, so I applied those, and that took off quite a bit. met with the Myra Lorraine oh my goodness I was so happy to meet her so when I left Joanne Fabrics I got to the place where we were planning to meet and I got there a little early so I took her gift and I put it in my bag my purse so I walked into the restaurant I got there first so when she came in we greeted each other we embraced and we were so happy to see each other and then we got our table we sat down we're chit chatting talking you know having a good time having a good conversation i wasn't even thinking about the gift because you know we were just talking it up and enjoying ourselves would you believe she told me it was her birthday i was like what today is your birthday she was like yes i was like oh my gosh so that reminded me that I had a gift for her. But how perfect was that, that I did have the gift for her on her birthday. So I told her it was a great segue. 
and I gave her the gift. She really liked the way the oil smelled, so that made me happy and everything was just great. And that Myra is the sweetest person ever. I remember when I first started doing YouTube videos. She welcomed me to YouTube and she was just so sweet and so pleasant. She mentioned me on her channel and I was just a newbie and I was just so honored and I just love her. She is just so sweet. So if you want to check her out, not to mention she can sew amazingly. She is just great at sewing. So I will put a link to her Instagram channel. Is that what they're called? Her Instagram her Instagram. I'll just put a link to her Instagram place in the description box. We're outside of an outlet mall and they're having a great sale. My husband's about to go in right now and I think he's exchanging a shirt. But I wanted to chat with you all and tell you about a skirt that I made. And so since I'm not at home, I'm going to look at all the details on here so I won't forget anything. I made Simplicity 8211 and I made it in a denim fabric and I made view D. When I cut the pattern out, I cut between size 6 and size 8. There is a little rating chart on the front of the pattern envelope and it's rated a two out of four this skirt has pockets on the side there are gathers around the waist that gather up into a waistband and then there is an invisible zipper on the left side of the skirt this pattern came out in 2016 and I really like it after I made the skirt I decided to make a top to match I'm using simplicity 9755 to make a top to go with the skirt and I want to make this top here actually is the only top in this pattern and this is how the top looks in the front I did cut out a size 8 and this is how it looks in the back there are buttons down the front and I just happen to have some wooden buttons and I'm going to use those just as it looks like the model is wearing in her garment I am also using denim to match the skirt I just finished putting the front with the side front and it does call for some top stitching so I did a little top stitching here and I just used the same thread color for the top stitching. There are eight pattern pieces. You have a placket and then you have straps for your shoulders and then you have facings front and back. I have the back sewn together and now I'm going to attach the back to the front at the side seams. I'm sewing the strap together and then I will flip it to the right side and baste it to the front edge of the top. The straps are basted on and now I'm going to take this spacing here and attach it to the upper edge of the top. So this is where the straps will go and I just transferred the dots from the wrong side over to the right side of the fabric. So when I'm attaching the facing, I want to make sure not to sew in this area. So as I'm stitching, I'm going to leave this area open. So I just put the marks here on the facing so I'll know where to stop when I'm sewing. Okay, I have the facing on and I did put in a hem down here at the bottom. I did a one inch hem. And then let's see now I'm going to go ahead and work on the front placket so this will be attached to this front area right in here this top is pretty much all done I have the back straps on and here is the front and all I need to do now is to put on the buttonholes and the buttons. Ceiling fan blowing cold breeze on your body. I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it. Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet. But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest. You a mood, body giving center views. I'm just saying I'm a muse. But you ain't even flexing. I did end up buying one little thing at the Gap outlet and it is this hoodie it does have pockets on the front which i really like it zips and of course it has the hood and i thought it was really cute with the outfit that i'm wearing and it's cropped so i really love that about it and i figured it'd be perfect for the evening when it gets a little chilly here's one of the dresses that i brought this is simplicity 9102 it's a calf dress caftan and when I first made it it was really long I just recently cut off the bottom because I felt like maybe I would wear it a little bit more if it was shorter here's the dress in the shorter length 
and I like it. So now I'm about to head out. at Walgreens while I was out. I bought these Dashing Diva nail strips which are like little stickers. I shared some of these before but this one has a little print on it and I thought it was really really cute so I just finished doing my nails. I was looking over here on the floor at my luggage and I was thinking oh I can share with you all some of the other sewing mats that I brought with me. As I was placing this top here on the bed I noticed it has like a little pink tint to it and I washed it before I came so it looks like I may have faded my little top oh man anyway I brought this vintage simplicity pattern top to go with these Vogue shorts and these are the Vogue shorts that have the little interesting pockets on the back I really like these and then I made this skirt years ago I really like it too and I made this vintage simplicity top so my plan was to wear these together as they are laid out here so I've been having a really good time while I'm here we have one more sort of main event to go to and that is meeting up with family at a park just to get together and I think for that I'm gonna probably wear this because our side of the family is supposed to wear white so I may not even get to wear this navy or this blue outfit but it's okay because at least I have it just in case. I just came from heating up my food in the microwave. So it's nice and hot. My spinach dip. This is going to be my lunch. So I believe it was my very last video. I was in Florida and they didn't have a microwave in the hotel room and I tried to get a microwave. I tried to find a microwave to use and I couldn't. So that's why I'm so excited about them having a microwave here so that I can heat up my food. And it was right in the gift shop just like the other place said they had one but they didn't. So I'm so excited. Today is the day of the family outing and the family color changed to black. So I'm going to end up wearing this simplicity skirt that I made and I brought along with me and I just had a tank top in my closet from at home. I did not intend to wear these together but I'm just going to pivot and go with it. <laughs> 